So as most people know, Apple released their iPad on April 3rd, 2010, just a few days ago. One of the first things I went for was the Twitter applications. There are basically two good Twitter applications that you can download for the iPad. Twitterific for iPad and TweetDeck for iPad. In this video, I'm going to be comparing them and show you the advantages and disadvantages of each one. We're going to start with Twitterific. So when you open up Twitterific, it'll ask you if you want to follow Twitterific. You can cancel or choose to follow them. We'll just cancel for now. And it plays that tweet when, when you have a new one. So, in Twitterific, it's pretty good, but you can see that at the top, it has an ad. Now, there's only one option. It's not like there's a light version and a free ver and a paid version. There's just one version. And if you want to get rid of the ads, then you have to go up and go back to you have to go up there, click on your account, go back to accounts, and then here it'll say upgrade Twitterific for $4.99. If you tap that, then it'll be an in-app purchase, and you get rid of you can have multiple accounts. I think this was sort of stupid on Twitterific's part. I really don't think it's worth it to pay $5.99 just, I mean $4.99 just to get rid of the ads. And as far as I can tell, there is no intuitive way to close this window. I have not been able to find a way. None of the obvious buttons close it. So the only way I know of is to actually restart the app. So that's another bug. Then you've got the refresh button, which just updates your tweets. You can click on here for info on your account. You can look at your recent tweets, favorite tweets, how many people you're following, and all of your followers. Then here you can write a new tweet. And it just brings up the keyboard keeps your character count and in this you can shorten all the links so I'll show you if we type like HTTP colon slash slash if we type that and then space shorten links then it'll give us a bitly link to that thing automatically so that's nice and then also you can just clear all text and that just deletes everything you have. So then you've got the send button up there as well as the close button. And that's pretty much it. You can tap on a person and you can look at replies to this author, translate tweet, email a tweet, or retweet the follower. And that just looks at all the people that said at Pirate Grayson. So then on each tweet you can favorite it or reply it. And so that's basically it for this. Nothing too special there. So it's a pretty good application, other than having to buy the full version with an in-app purchase. I think that was sort of stupid. And not being able to close that window, but Twitterific is pretty good. Now let's go into TweetDeck. So as you can see, TweetDeck has these three columns, two that are plainly visible. But it has three columns for everybody's tweets, people that at mentioned you, or your direct messages. So I really like this interface, and it's very easy to scroll through them. You can tap on a person's tweet, and it'll bring it up in this area here. You can choose to reply, retweet, direct message that person, email the tweet, or favorite it. Up here you can see one of their recent tweets, and pop that up to go to their page. From there, once again, you have the option to reply, direct message, or block that person. And you have info on who they're following and how many followers they have. And you can scroll through all of their tweets. In the settings panel, you've got a setting that looks like the uh, built-in settings application. You can manage the accounts you have, sign into an account, set up a new account for TweetDeck, not Twitter. And then general settings, which basically has autocorrect and a whole lot of stuff. You can upload images, choose your picture service, and you can check that out. I'm not going to go through all of them here. Or connect to bit.ly and have your bit.ly account. So, then you've got the refresh button, then add, which adds a column, so you can have like, a column to this area down here. Like If we say iPad up link and then favorites and then hit add column it'll add another one after the direct messages which is our favorites this does take longer to load than twitterific but it's totally worth it in my opinion so i really like this a lot better than twitterific it does it has its full feature there's no in-app purchases you have to get 
and it just has a much better interface. It's also much more customizable, which is always great. Here you can hashtag something. You can look at your hashtags. You can add an. You can add someone. If we click on like, I touch iPods, then it at replies them. You can shorten the links, upload a photo from your photo albums, or add a locate at a location. So all of those features are great too. And then you just can save or don't save. So overall I recommend TweetDeck. It's a much better application, it has a much better interface, and you get the full version without having to pay anything. But that's just my opinion. You can have your own opinion. But that's all for now. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.